Baxter is a collaborative robot for manufacturing, so it's very unique in that respect, and we wanted people to feel comfortable around it. And there's a, a variety of things that we built into the user interface of the robot, and part of that is, uh, is the name Baxter. So we wanted people to feel comfortable working around the robot, just like having another worker on the line. Baxter is incredibly inexpensive, so it's a $22,000 base price. So it's really uh, a really very cost-effective alternative, especially for small manufacturers. Um, it's very well suited for laboratory environments in the medical industry, um, uh, really picking and placing of small plastic parts, which are common in med devices as well. Baxter is incredibly easy to train. So rather than requiring a specialized engineering degree um, and weeks if not months of programming to do a specific single task, Baxter can be trained in minutes by the same people who are doing these type of tasks today. So the same people who are loading lines, packing boxes, and that sort of thing can actually be robot supervisors. So you just want to put that down in a perpendicular fashion right inside that cup all the way down, very good. Now just push that long button one time. Great, now you see the with the head nod, Baxter has indicated, okay, I get it, I understand what you wanna do. So now you just wanna use that same process and grab its wrist and move the arm to wherever you wanna place it. So if you wanna put it in the washboard or if you wanna move it across the table. So you just slide it right down in that area. So now you're just going to hit that top button, yep, and then scroll over to run, and then hit that button again. So it's going to grab that part, and it's going to bring it over to that same compartment where you just trained it to go, and it'll drop it right in there. So <laughs> I just need a smidge more expertise. <laughs> I am an editor. That's I great. think you did a great job. That's great. And we did that in two minutes. You just learned how to train an industrial robot. So That's congratulations. Great. Thank you. Uh, well, Kawasaki just came out with our medical clean room robot, which has a wipe down uh, surface for alcohol wipe down, and then also the hollow wrist, which is incorporated into the robot. Uh, on the bottom of the robot, all the cabling is put up through the bottom uh, in order to eliminate any cabling on top of the robot or on the surface of the work area. Some of the applications for this robot would be vial filling, uh, pharmaceutical essays, uh, material handling, or dispensing of different materials inside of a medical environment. As far as I know, this is the only class 100 robot currently in this hall. Some of the things that are really unique about this robot, this is the smallest Delta style robot that we make. It has six degrees of freedom, so the robot can actually articulate things in all directions. The other really interesting thing about this robot is, is it has a color vision system. So you'll see that it's picking up different types and different colors of pills. So the camera actually can look for all the different colors of the spectrum, recognize the different colors, and then sort the pills based off of what color they are. Uh, the other interesting thing that we did about this robot is, is we put it on a linear slide. So you can see that we took a standard robot and we actually gave it the ability to walk, as you'd say, moves from side to side. We're obviously trying to highlight pill sorting here, but there's a tremendous need for medical packaging, medical sorting, medical handling. So we make these types of robots. We make clean room robots. We have the largest group of robotic systems integrators, many of those in the medical um, field, the pharmaceutical and medical field. So what we try to answer with those end customers is, is we try to marry them up um, with a, the right robot, with the right company, so that they have a successful system.